Now, the competition watchdog has said this morning that the baby formula market needs to be shaken up to help struggling families. The Competition and Markets Authority has set out a number of concerns over the price of formula milk. They say not enough is being done to protect consumers from price rises, with retailers often passing on increases in manufacturing costs in full. The watchdog also found the marketing and branding of baby formula can be misleading. Often, infant and follow-on formulas are branded similarly which is against regulation rules. Plus, there are concerns parents are often pressured into making decisions straight after childbirth before getting proper access to accurate and impartial information. Our national correspondent, Tom Parmenter, has the details. I think there are very robust recommendations within this report from the Competition and Markets Authority. This is a problem that has been affecting families for quite a few years now. The high prices in the baby aisles of supermarkets like this one in Chester, but it could be anywhere in the country this because the prices have just been rising about 25% or so over the last few years. Since we uncovered the really desperate measures that families have been having to resort to to feed their babies. Uh, the prices have started to come down a little. New low-cost brands have been launched, but still there is much to do in this sector for parents. And the Competition and Markets Authority report today is really acknowledging that this isn't working for parents. It needs to be much better. The public health messaging around it needs to be much clearer to make very uh, clearly for parents that this is a situation where the cheapest products do not equate to an inferior product. And quite often within this sector, there's a big degree of emotion. These are tired, stressful moments, those early weeks and months of a baby's life. And trying to make those decisions, juggling it with breastfeeding, whether that is or isn't working. These are difficult moments for parents and it needs to be much better. And the Competition and Markets Authority also calling for better competition between manufacturers and retailers. If we take a look at the, uh, the aisle here, you can see lots of different offerings, but actually there's only three manufacturers behind the brands that you can see on the shelves here. And as I say, some of the prices have started to come down, but that public health messaging around what's on offer in the baby aisles includes the fact that it's only really first milk that is the essential product for babies. The other ones like toddler milk and follow-on milk, many infant feeding specialists say are just not necessary because you can move on to cow's milk or other products from the age of 12 months. So a great deal to look at for the industry here. They also include the idea of a price cap in this market, a ceiling at, at which this product could be sold because it is such an essential product. At this stage, the Competition and Markets Authority are not recommending that, they are considering it. So we'll see where that goes. But the boss here at Food Warehouse, Richard Walker, is one of those people who has advocated for a price cap in the market. And that is an indication, I think, of just how drastic the change needs to be. One charity, Feed UK, have said today this is a broken system and it needs the urgent attention of not just the Competition and Markets Authority, but also governments who will be looking at the recommendations being made in, in this report and a final report that will come at the start of next year.